Jesus came to seek and to save those who are lost. That's us, all of us. We were all lost in sin. We were bound by chains. We were far away from God, like the prodigal son who went into a far city with all the wealth of his inheritance. He squandered it. He lost it, had nothing to eat anymore, looked for a job, found a job on a pig farm, looking after pigs. And the Bible says he wanted to eat what the pigs ate and they, it would not be given to him. And just before he was dying of hunger, suddenly he remembered, my father has got many servants. Mm. I want to go home and say, Father, I have sinned against heaven and you. Make me one of your hired servants. Now listen, when he returned to his father's house and he now prayed the prayer he had intended to pray, one part of the prayer the father did not answer. He did not make his lost son a hired servant. He had hired servants by the dozen, but he only had two sons, two sons, and the prodigal was most welcome. In, there was no interrogation. There was no, even no confession. All that the son needed to do, he had done. He had come home. And the Father is waiting for you as well in the person of Jesus Christ. Come to Jesus right now. He will embrace you. He will kiss you. He will wash you. He will dress you. He will put a ring on your finger. That means you are reinstated to the family of God. Are you ready to receive this wonderful Jesus? Are you willing to come home? Then let me lead you in that prayer of salvation. Say, dear Lord Jesus, I'm coming home. Forgive me my sins. Save my soul. Wash me from all my sins. Thank you for your embrace. I put my trust and my faith in you. And as of this day, I want to follow you with all of my heart. I now believe and confess that I am a child of God. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Please subscribe. Please, please subscribe. I love you all. Please just subscribe. Please.